to my channel. Now, I've literally just filmed this video because I literally filmed the entire video and then I suddenly realised that I wasn't wearing my lip gloss and I, I literally just thought, you know what, I'm gonna refilm the video just for that fact because I'm actually featuring the lip gloss in this video and it's, you know, it, it, it's kind of important to me. So I'm refilming this video. So here we go, take two. Today's video is gonna be a March Feelings, Favourites and Failed where I talk about my feelings of the month. Is it good, is it bad? You know, was March a good month? And my favourites, so favourite products or apps or programs things like that and then any kind of failed products from the month as well will just get thrown in at the end so that's basically what this video is going to be before we actually though get into the video i will just like to point out that next week i'm not going to be posting any videos i usually post two videos a week and i try to post wednesdays and fridays at 9 a.m i mean try here um because sometimes it, it, that doesn't happen but next week i won't be posting i'm taking a week off social media i had that planned in for you know literally months like since the beginning of the year every three months i had planned in to have a week off social media and that's not completely off social media that just means like no scrolling over things so i won't be on tiktok i won't be scrolling through instagram or facebook the only times i will go on a social media app is if i'm replying to messages or if somebody's tagged me in something because it's just going to be rude if i didn't reply um or for example if somebody buys one of my products and then they pop it on their story i will then pop that on my story for example so yeah i won't be posting either unless for that reason and that's quite significant for me because i'm posting every single day on my like fresh faced account for my little skincare business both of those social medias are linked in the description by the way if you're wondering and i post daily literally three posts per day for that on both social medias i post on youtube i post um occasionally on tiktok but not really um and yeah i'm, I'm just i'm posting a lot and i just I'm not going to do that for a week and it's going to be weird so I just thought I'd let you know there's not going to be any videos next week, but I will be back the week after on Wednesday and Friday at 9am. So just thought I'd tell you just in case you wondered, which you probably won't be. Also, the only app I am going to let myself go on with this social media like detox week is YouTube because I don't have a TV. So the only kind of like things I can watch are either like Netflix or YouTube videos. So I'm not going to deprive myself of YouTube videos. And also I don't consider YouTube videos in the same like category is just scrolling mindlessly through instagram and facebook so anyway i'll see how next week goes and i'll let you know when i'm back whether it made me happier or whether it made a difference to anything but we'll see first of all i'm going to discuss my feelings of march which is what i always do in these like monthly videos that i do i felt like this month went really really quickly in comparison to january and february i felt like this was a quick month don't know why i just felt like that and i think it's because is it because like nothing's really going on like i can't do the usual things that i would have done like a year ago or over a year ago now and it just kind of feels like a weird year starting the year and just you know having like the same thing every single day even though you would think that if it's the same thing every single day that maybe time would go slower but then again i'm not bored i fill my day with things that i'm doing and productivity so maybe that's why i'm not sure um, but it's just felt really quick it's been a fairly positive month i wouldn't say it's been as happy and positive as the previous two months were but it's still been like pretty happy and i think it's because i've not been as organized as i would normally have been and my routines i haven't been you know following them quite as much i have my morning and my evening routines and i haven't really been sticking to them like a whole load and i really need to because i'm a routine person i'm an organizational person i've known this throughout my life that i thrive from being organized and i know some people don't and that's fair enough but if you've never tried like being super organized and like writing lists for everything try it you might actually realize that it changes your life because it literally changes my mood from zero to a hundred it is that much of a difference to be just organized and to know what's happening and what's going on and know that everything's under control you don't have all the stress in your brain of like knowing what you have to do you write it out on paper it's all planned out and you don't have to have that stress in your brain so next month in april i'm gonna try and be you know 
continuing with my routines and just making sure that I'm making the effort to just have those routines and just to stick to them 99% um, of the time rather than 50% of the time. And also my skincare routine, I've been slacking with that and I think that's bothering me a little bit. My skin's fine because I'm still taking my makeup off, I'm still cleaning my skin, I'm just not using my products and my skin's getting a little dry so I just need to start using my skincare products a little bit more. It's when you get like to night time and I'm just too tired, I'm like, oh, I can't be bothered. I need to start changing that around. In terms of favorite products, we are gonna start off with makeup. Not too many products um, to talk about, literally like, yeah, one product. We have one product to talk about in terms of makeup, and it's actually my own product. I will overlay a clip of me using this in a second, but this is the Fresh Faced by Georgie Carr, who is me. Um, sheer Shine Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Peach. I think that's what I'm gonna call it. This product hasn't launched yet as I'm filming this video, but as you're watching this video, which is actually a week later, I will have launched this product. I'm launching it tomorrow, which is Monday. And yeah, it's my first makeup product. I will do an entire video on this and like showing it in a makeup look and stuff like that but I just thought I'd mention it in this video I'm really happy about this product it's my first makeup product I'm super happy about it I've been trialing and testing it for a while and yeah I'm really happy with it I thought I'd go with like a peachy shade to start off with because it's just kind of like more of like um, a universal shade that sort of anyone can use so that's what I went for you get eight mil which is a decent amount of product in here and I actually really like the doe foot applicator of this it's a little bit bigger than normal and I like that it means that the product goes on really really quickly it's a nice Nice big bottle as you can see or tube or whatever you'd call this it is nice and big um, compared to some of the other ones that I've got so you do get a lot of product in here um, but I will link my eBay and my Etsy in the description if you are interested in purchasing one of these because it will come nicely like packaged up with a free sample of another one of my products and you know just looking all cute so go and check that out if you would like to and it will last you a long time and I'm super happy with this. I'm proud of this product. It's my first makeup product and I'm really happy with it. So yeah, please go and check it out. And also the labels are made from recycled paper. So it's beneficial to the environment. Um, I just wanted to add that in as a little touch, but yeah, I am gonna come out with different shades, but that will be in like months to come. It won't be anytime soon because I'm quite busy at the minute and it is a lot of effort to do these kind of things. So this is gonna be the only shade for the next few months. Just thought I'd let you know. Right, skincare product wise. Okay, so I've got my kind of couple of products that I've included in a couple of past videos. I did a body shop haul recently. If you wanna go and watch that, just scroll back on my channel. I mentioned this. So this is the Body Shop Lemon Purifying Face Wash. I love this so much. I did not expect to like this as much as I do. I'm not gonna speak about it too much because I have actually spoken about it in like two previous videos quite recently. But all I'm gonna say is it makes my skin so soft. It feels like it's really cleaning my skin at the same time. And it's just an all rounder, like an amazing product. It's cleansing whilst also softening, which I think is quite good for like a, face, a facial wash because some facial washes um, are like either really drying or like more moisturizing and you don't really have like sort of the both linked together that are like really cleansing and also softening. So yeah, I love this. Also in that kind of like um, haul, I mentioned the Body Shop Mango Bath Blend. This is a hydrating bath foam. I was debating whether to include it in this video because it's kind of like me just reiterating what I said in you know, that video and that haul, but it is a favorite. I am gonna include it. I really love this. The quality of this product is amazing. A little goes a long way. The smell of this is like absolutely phenomenal. Like you can literally, you know, it's so strong. It really is. It, it smells like a really strong fruit salad. And yeah, the smell of mango is amazing. I'm definitely gonna try some of the other scents that they do when this has run out, but this is gonna last me ages. It makes the bath smell really nice throughout the entirety of your bath. It will smell of mango, adds a little color to the bath and also adds bubbles. And a final kind of skincare-y type product. I know that wasn't really a skincare product, but I suppose it was. Um, I have my face mask. So this is my Fresh Face by Georgie Carr Detox Clay Face Mask. And this has got tea tree oil in it. So it's like a tea tree mask. I love using this. I alternate between using my different face masks that I've got. Some of them I was sent, some of them I bought. And every time it's the day to use this, I get excited because I love using this mask. It's so quick to apply onto my skin. And when it dries, it's so easy to remove it. Some face masks that I have, I feel like I have to scrub it off to remove it and this just washes straight off, which I really love about it. So yeah, this is also sold on my Etsy and eBay if you wanted to go and check it out. I am actually gonna be selling this in powder form 
um, I think next month. So at the end of April, I will be selling this in powder form, just a little, you know, heads up, if you just wanna buy the powder by itself. But this contains um, various other ingredients that are beneficial to the skin as well, if you wanted it like this. So I just thought I would let you know that, but yeah, this has definitely been a favorite this month. I have mentioned it in favorites before, but I just wanted to mention it again because I've been especially loving it this month. A few kind of like randomy bits. So the first one is this Body Shop Lime and Matcha Hair and Body Mist. Again, it was mentioned in my haul. I'm so sorry that I'm just reiterating the same things I've said before, but I really love the smell of this and the spray of it is really nice. Pop a little bit on. This particular scent I really love and I would recommend, but I will try other ones after this. The spray and the mist is really nice. The scent lasts really long. And yeah, I'm so impressed with the bits that I did get from the body shop because they've really, you know, worked. Also for random bits is this coaster. So I picked this up from a girl I know called Lucy. She has an Etsy shop where she sells bits like this. In my um, video, a couple of videos ago, it was like a haul video of everything £5.com and bits from her. I showed this in there and yeah, it's a really nice coaster. I love the design of this and I, I just, get excited by the most simplest things because I get excited to have a drink just so that I can put my drink on this coaster. Now that's the kind of person that I am. I don't get excited by, you know, amazingly exciting things. This is exciting to me. So yeah, I love that. That is pretty much everything in terms of like random things. I'm sorry if I've forgotten anything. I probably have done, I'm not sure. But I have a couple of apps that I wanna talk about. So, oh, my feet are so numb. Oh my God, hang on, just give me two seconds. Oh my God. Do you know when your feet are so numb you can't feel them and then you actually think like what if I accidentally break my ankle and I don't feel it? <laughs> or is that just me? I don't know. Just give me two minutes! <laughs> okay, we're back. Um, so, the next section is app favourites. So I have a section on my phone called games and these are the games that I play. Yes, I count Sudoku as a game. That's also a favorite by the way is um, Sudoku. I love it and I do one every single night just to test my brain. So that's there and it's easier than doing it on paper. There's different levels, easy, medium, hard and extra hard or something like that. Um, because it's night time and I do it before I sleep, I always choose easy just because I'm tired. But um, another favorite is also Clash Royale, which is here. Now, I really love that game and I don't know why. I just think it's like a ki kind of a simplistic game. Basically, you're like fighting against people and by putting down cards. So you'll get given a set of cards and you're under a time limit and you have to put them down um, against somebody else. And it will then correspond to like, the card that you put down will be like an actual little action figure and it starts fighting against theirs. And depending on which one you put down, depends on whether it can fight against theirs and you have to destroy their towers over the other side and they have to destroy mine. And the more towers you destroy, there's only three, but the more you destroy, the more points you get. And if they destroy more of mine than I do of theirs, then they win, etc. vice versa. Um, I just love the game. Um, I know it sounds a little bit like confusing, but just go and download it if you'd like to. And I really love it. It's not something I thought I would like, but I actually do. I'm obsessed with it. I really like it. It's my new favorite game. Um, and then finally, I've put in like a category of like YouTube or Netflix favorites. YouTube favorites, I'm gonna talk about Jamie Genevieve. I think I've mentioned her in a video before. I will link her channel in the description if you wanna check her out. Um, she, you probably know who she is anyway. She does a lot of makeup videos but also like home kind of videos and loads of vlogs. I particularly love her vlogs. And also she's quite into skincare as well, which I like. So I will link her in the description. I just like watching her videos and she's recently moved house as well. And I thought like, is there any Netflix favorites? But there literally isn't any like new Netflix favorites that I have to share because I've just been watching the same things. I've watched The Big Bang Theory. I also watched Superstore. And um, I think that's it. Like that's literally it. And I've mentioned those in previous videos. So I didn't want to like say it again. But yeah, I've not got any like new Netflix favorites. In terms of fails of the video, I have written in my little like a plan for this video i always do a plan for my videos um that i'm actually going to make a whole video in april about my fail products so it's going to be like makeup fails just specific to makeup because i've recently decluttered and gone through my makeup and i found loads of products that i thought actually they're not very good and i'm going to chuck them so i thought you know what i'm going to make a whole video talking about my fails so i could mention something in this video but i'm not gonna i'm gonna save it for that video um but i did think to mention kind of a fail is that when i was making my lipstick 
I had many failed attempts and what I struggled the most at was actually getting the product into this. I can make the product and I've got the packaging, I've got the labels, everything. I just couldn't get the actual like formula into here, but I know how to do it now. I figured it out. Research and practice makes a difference. So yeah, we've done that. But yeah, that's the only fails of this month is my many, many, many attempts at getting that lipstick into the tube. Um, trust me, it's not as easy as you think, but I've got there now, I know how to do it. Um, but yeah, that's everything for this video. I won't be seeing you until like a week and a half, maybe two weeks time. So have a good two weeks until then. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in two weeks time. Goodbye.